we'll be starting with the part two, the resource mobilization and the identification of resources. And we will try to understand where did Roxanne Quimby find her resources uh, for her business. And this will find very interesting things coming up. Let's have a quick recap. And we saw that this lady, uh, Roxanne Quimby, uh, moving to a jungle and where she meets uh, Mr. Bert. And there was a chance meeting. And that chance meeting uh, made her meet Bert. And she saw 30 beehives and learned beekeeping. During this process, she discovered a stockpile of wax, and she, with the permission of Bert, she made those handmade candles. She took them to a nearby school fair, and here she makes some money. And that was a turning point. And here she says, a wow moment. A wow, I can make some money. She comes back with new ideas, new designs, new colors, and new shapes, and that is the beginning. So she starts going to the flea market every day and she make, she's able to make a few dollars. And after some iterations and some, some weeks, she came up with an idea that I shall grow and develop this business further. So this question is raised and she discusses this question with Bert. Bert, who is a hippie, he is also, he gets motivated with this feedback. And in 1984, Roxanne and Bert, they pool two to hundred dollars each to formally start a business. Two two hundred dollars in nineteen eighty four, uh, maybe I think it was like ten rupees a dollar. So like you can say, uh, or twenty rupees a dollar, like four thousand PKR. Uh, they are planning to start a business. So if we stop here for a while and and uh, start reflecting on the question. What do you need to start a business? So what sort of information, what sort of things do you need? What sort of resources do you need to start a business uh, that comes to our mind? And uh, if you ask a typical uh, typical a student from a business school or, or, or business background, what will he ask is, he will say that we need the following. We need a place, we need equipment, we need a place for our location. We need equipment, the manufacturing facility, the manufacturing equipment. We need employees. We need transport. We need a communication system, telephones, faxes, postal services nearby, and raw material, fuel. So they will give you a long list of necessities. And uh, once you go and study that, they said, please go and do a marketing study for that. And once you do start doing a study, you need to come up with a comprehensive plan. And that is what we call a business planning model, marketing research, industry analysis, marketing strategy, operation strategy, HR policies, and financial model. All these things are required before we proceed. And this is called the causal approach. The causal approach that we need to arrange these things to cause something. Uh, so we need to arrange these resources, these strategies, these, these, uh, we need to arrange these things before we proceed with that. So this is called the traditional causal approach. And we'll try to understand how did Roxanne, Kumbi and Bert proceed with this. So they had like $200 each, that is total, that is $400. So is four hundred? The question is: Is four hundred dollars enough for this? Is four hundred dollars enough to arrange this? Then the answer is a big no. Four hundred dollars is 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 nothing. If you arrange a good stove, if imported stove, and and a good location, layout, transportation, uh, it's the four hundred dollars will evaporate very soon. So what to do? So what to do? So we'll try to understand what does an entrepreneur do? What is the entrepreneurial mindset? And another definition of entrepreneurship is to pursue an opportunity irrespective of the availability of resources. You're not obsessed with resources. You're obsessed with the idea. I have to pursue that idea. 
idea is important then i will find the resources from within so here it is what is very interesting we call uh, in in the pakistani concept context we call it maiman the maiman path and if you look at this community and many of those uh, uh, who are from this community and some other communities as well the sheikh community the achikzai community and other communities in pakistan and the world over so maiman is making enough money out of nothing so making enough money out of nothing so that is the entrepreneurial spirit how to do something without spending anything so the entrepreneurial mindset says that if you have some money you should keep 80% of this in a safe place and only work with like 20% so 20% of this is like 400 is Eighty dollars. So you can only work with eighty dollars. So if you can't get anything out of four hundred, what can you get out of eighty dollars? So this is a question uh, which comes to a business graduate and an MBA and a PhD in management or engineering, and it makes them boggle, and it makes them, you see, worry that this is not doable. So if uh, we go into detail. Uh, and see uh, what this lady did so she had the entrepreneurial mindset she had the maiman mindset the hxz mindset the entrepreneurial mindset so the entrepreneurial mindset does not go on purchasing the entrepreneurial mindset goes on borrowing or identifying things which are available for free within your networks so roxan can be able to find a rent a room which you could rent it had no water no heat no running water and there was no window and there was no electricity this was on the outskirts of the town and uh, when she looked at it she said wow the owner of this place said i want somebody who can pay my annual insurance fee 150 dollars a year and that had to be paid towards the end of the year so roxan kumbi was the happiest lady and although it was not in the mainstream bazaar in the town it was far away it was outside on the outskirts the doors were not there and the windows were not there and what did she do she had some friends she took the hammer and the nails and here she go she went there she repaired that she cleaned that and the facility was up and running and how much did she pay for this zero this had to be paid towards the end so she gets sold to a facility and the next thing she needs is equipment she needs manufacturing equipment she needs kitchen appliances mixing equipment pouring equipment she needs a wooden stove what to do what will a traditional mba phd in business and an engineering graduate do he will find the best place he will find the best equipment as we will study in the causation a model in another segment so in this case rocks and kumbi went to the flea market she went to the old market she went to the used equipment market and she was able to identify a wooden stove for few dollars she cleaned it made it workable she hired a person maybe to get it to reinstate things and she got some mixing equipment she got some pouring equipment and in 20 30 dollars she was able to 30 40 dollars she was able to get these old things and she got it purchased it and brought it to his house and here you go people raw material raw material and fuel she was able to get access from the nearby forest she had her own piece of land she had her own woods she had the nearby woods and she got a lot of wax and she had access to Uh, the beehives the bee waxes the first place and birds place and she could even talk to the other neighbors and here you go and she needed a transport facility and bert owned an old truck and here you go you can see the old truck bert owned this truck and and she got an access she did not own it but she had an access she had control of this 
So look at this interesting thing. Next, she needed a telephone to communicate. And there is no telephone wire, telephone system coming into this jungle. So if she had been a traditional MBA, traditional graduate, she would have been stuck with the planning thing, applying it, and she would have said that I can't do anything unless I get a telephone. Nothing can stop an entrepreneur. Nothing can stop an entrepreneur. She 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 reflects and she finds that there's a drugstore in, in, in her town, nearby town. She goes there and she requests and makes a selling pitch to the owner and says, Sir, I am the one who buys and purchases things for you, my grocery. Can you do me a favor? Take some of my telephone calls when needed. This is a diary. Can you please note down some things for me? once or twice a day and whenever i come i will get it collected so look at the entrepreneurial mindset she is not driven by resources she is not driven by systems procedures and planning she her mind is working in a very super active way to identify things which can help her and she's got gets access to the telephone she needs people and she's looking what to do so as she used to go to the nearby town to sell her wax candles, she saw that there are some moms sitting outside the, their houses in the outskirts of the town. And she used to say hello and good morning and, and to wave at them. And she gradually, after some time when she felt the need, she asked them, ma'am, I need some people who can be, who can work with me. I need some woman who can, do some part-time work with me and she was able to identify these women in her own network and these were needy they had a need they had a necessity so these people came into her network and her her, her team so look at this very interesting model so all of these things which are mentioned here on this left side if you have a traditional lens if you have a traditional way of thinking that is being taught in the universities, in colleges, in the various programs, they will make you think in a systematic way. They will make you think that you need these things before you proceed. And look at this traditional indigenous way of thinking. Roxanne Kumbi is only a fine arts graduate. And they, they in a way, living in the jungle, dropped out of life, but they are not driven by these things. They they use a different lens and this lens makes them find these things in a different, very different way. So that makes us, so that makes us, uh, that completes our second part. And we will then try to see that how do they proceed further with this? And then we will see how they grow with this. Uh, thank you very much.